One thing they have cleaned up today is the departure of a high-profile public servant. The worst-kept secret in federal parliament has finally occurred with Michael Pizzullo, the long-serving Home Affairs and Immigration Department boss, summarily sacked after a report by the former Australian Public Service Commissioner, Lanell Briggs, found he breached the Australian Public Service Code of Conduct 14 times. Now, that was in relation to his messages with the lobbyist and friend of former PM Scott Morrison, Scott Briggs. The report found Pizzullo had breached the code in terms of the, quote, use of his duty, power, status or authority to seek to gain a benefit or advantage for himself, that he'd engaged in gossip and disrespectful critique of ministers and public servants, that he'd failed to maintain confidentiality of sensitive government information, that he'd failed to act apolitically and that he'd failed to disclose a conflict of interest. So with Pizzullo's departure goes one of the most influential people in the bureaucracy, particularly during the nine years of coalition government. But perhaps the greatest irony of Pizzullo falling for getting so close to a Liberal lobbyist is when I first met him 20, more than 20 years ago here, he was Kim Beasley's Deputy Chief of Staff. Government critics say Pizzullo's department had yet to take action on a million visas when they came to office. So the suggestion to me out of government sources is his public reputation might not have always aligned with his department's performance, Karen. Andrew, big day. Thank you very much for that, Andrew Clonell.